श्री गुरु चरण कमले भ्यो नम श्री सुखदेव गोस्वामी सैस टू किंग परीक्षित ओ परीक्षित द डिस्कशन बिटवीन द मैसेंजर्स ऑफ लॉर्ड विष्णु कॉल्ड विष्णु दूतस एंड द मैसेंजर्स ऑफ यमराज कॉल्ड यम दूतस इज गोइंग ऑन where yamaduta vishnu dutas had heard the yamaduta's statements and spoke to yamadutas means vishnu dutas are speaking o yamadutas since either they are small or big either they are light or very grievous all sins become removed just by chanting the holy name of the lord with good faith the potency of the supreme lord's holy name is unlimited there is no limit in the potency injected inside the holy name by the supreme lord o yamadutas this is true whatever you have said is all true sure but you know by performing austerities by fasting by performing fire sacrifices or giving charity to those who are authorized by god to receive charity by doing all these activities since become removed for sure but the desire lying inside the heart to sin don't go away the stink of desire to sin still remains inside sure spirit religious activities they remove sense but again person start sinning because desire to sin but anyone o yamadutas who chants the holy name of the lord hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari with good faith the desire to sin and all the sins become uprooted sure go away instantly that is the potency of chanting the holy name of the lord with good faith because they become uprooted there is no more desire no no, no more sinning o yamadutas अज्ञात अथवा ज्ञाना उत्तम श्लोक नाम यकीर्तित अघम पुंसो देहि अंधो यथानल जस्ट एज फायर टचेस द ड्राई हीप ऑफ ग्रास माउंटेन ऑफ ड्राई ग्रास मे बी देयर एंड लिटिल फायर टच इमीडिएटली इट बिकम्स टर्न्स इन टू आस वेरी क्विकली similarly anyone who chants with good faith that fire of chanting burns their sins so quickly same way the holy name of the lord is like a nectar just as a person drinks nectar knowingly or unknowingly potent nectar just as a person drinks potent nectar knowingly or unknowingly becomes a mortal similarly anybody who chants the holy name of the lord with good faith that nectarine holy name removes all their sins good faith means systematically means 
holy chanting of the holy name must be heard from the spiritual master must be through initiation then it works like that just as knowingly or unknowingly one drinks nectar becomes a mortal similarly knowingly or unknowingly one chants the holy name of the lord good faith obtains a result guarantee will receive no matter who chants but should be chanted under the direction of the guru the padma purana states harir harati papani tushti chitte api smrtah look at this how great it is dushti chitte api smrtah अनिच्छन पे संपृष्टो दहती एव ही पावक दुष्टचित्त मीन्स विकेड माइंडेड पर्सन इफ ए विकेड माइंडेड पर्सन चैंट्स द होली नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ ए प्योर डिवोटी the supreme lord removes all his sins harana means removes takes away steals harir harati papani because he he steals the sins removes the sins of his follower that's why his name is called hari lord krishna is called hari the reason is that he steals the sins of his devotee either knowingly or unknowingly if one touches fire gets burnt similarly knowingly or unknowingly would it work or not work but because if it is given by a guru to you to chant surely it will work you will surely get burnt holy name of the lord acts as fire to the sins chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare your sins will be burnt why you are wasting your life thinking that that religion this religion this process that process will work on you free you you will go to heaven not correct your thinking you will not work after your death your thinking only works as long as you are alive and you have money that's why you are thinking that it's work after death only god's thinking works so why you want to waste your life by not chanting the holy name of the lord is very easy to chant it works on you sure but the holy name of the lord don't work on a person who speculates oh chanting will possibly will destroy or not destroy i am not sure maybe the meaning of hare is this krishna is this rama is this speculation arthavad it is called in sanskrit gives their own interpretation on the holy name For that, Padma Purana says, "Atvadam harir nami sambhavayati yo naraha sa papishto banishya nam narake padati sputam." If somebody gives their own interpretation on the holy name, or suspects it will work on the man, that person becomes more sinner than a sinner, and falls in hell. therefore chanting should be done under the guidance of guru and be simple just think the way your guru wants you to think don't think anything else any other way than your guru wants you to think then spiritual life works on you if you independently think okay material life you be independent but spiritual life 
because you don't know what is beyond that death that's why you should not be independent on spiritual path you cannot think the way you want to think you have to think the way guru wants you to think on spiritual matters material matters you the way be land of the free home of the brave great people you are no problem just be great materially but be humble spiritually <laughs> whole heartedly humility really not external of hari hari mal the inside the ego is filled that's why i cannot beg pardon for mistakes anybody who is egotistic will never beg pardon for that committed mistake for sure because <laughs> hari bol like that so sukadev goswami says oh king parikit the vishnu dutas had explained the great potency of the supreme lord to yamadutas and told them to reach sinar adamin so they released the sinner ajamil they had tied his hands to pull him pulling him to get him out take him to hell they released <laughs> and left to sanyamini puri to speak with yamaraj there oh, what is going on because it never happened to them it never happened before that so they had no habit of this kind of situation and after reaching yamaraj in the hell sanyamini puri means where people are purified sinners are purified when sins are purified that place is called sanyamini puri in sanskrit in english you call it hell so they went there and spoke to yamaraj and narrated everything what had happened with the vishnu dutas in regards to ajamil sinner ajamil they left there they spoke to this side ajamil was freed and became fearless because he is hearing all these talks and became happy healthy easy going he paid his obeisances to vishnu dutas and started thinking am i seeing a dream is this a dream what i saw or it is actually happened it is a daytime i am awake happened i saw all this discussion he paid his obeisances to vishnu dutas and he heard and saw all discussion because it's sudev goswami speaking he saw and heard all the discussion what had taken place he understood everything going on there because he was born in a brahmin family he understood everything so after folding hands towards vishnu dutas he wanted to say something when vishnu dutas found out that ajamil wants to say something they immediately disappeared suddenly disappeared in front of him gone now question arises that how come ajamil was hearing for so long and they these vishnu dutas were speaking with yamadutas for so long and as soon as Ajamil paid his obeisances and folded his hands. Vishnu Dutta suddenly disappeared. How come it happened? Is because Ajamil was a great sinner, and he needed his sins to be eliminated totally. He need to he need to follow a purificatory system. and vishnu dutas thought he is going to speak something 
he may ask a boon before becoming purified. That's why they disappeared from there. Ajamil had to, has to purify his sins. That's why Vishnu Dutas, after increasing his duration of life, because he's dead that time. So they increased the duration of life. They resurrect. It's called resurrection in your language. That is, that is the real re-resurrection, not speculation. So they increased his life so he could perform some purificatory system acts and Vishnu Dutas disappeared from them. Ajamil had heard and understood all the discussion of Vishnu Dutas and Yamadutas and heard the difference between both discussions. The discussion presented by Vishnu Dutas was Bhagavata Dharma real, actual process of spiritual purification, process to please the Lord, the actual process called Bhagavad Dharma. And he heard the statements made by Yamadutas. I'm looking this way, that way, because sometimes I forget just to recollect. There is no panels here I'm reading from. Mm -hmm. like, not like that. So, he heard Yamadutas who spoke Trevidya, means knowledge coming from Vedas, meant for householders. <laughs> Rigveda, Yajurveda, and Samaveda. That knowledge was spoken. Bookish knowledge, we call it. Bookish knowledge. You memorize, you're giving class tomorrow or you were, you were told to give class in one hour, your message came and then you open up the book and read the verse and go to prepared to the class. Fine, go there. But don't act as a pure devotee because you came prepared. That is materially, we go prepared to the court. We go prepared to visit somebody. We go prepared. We prepare ourselves to visit our friends, family, party. We decorate ourselves. That is material. But spiritual life? No. No artificiality exists. So Yama, he heard, Ajamil heard Yamadutas statement meant for householders. He heard both. He also heard the potency, unlimited potency that is in the holy name of the Lord. And one who chants wholeheartedly with good faith, real devotion rises in the heart. Real devotion, actual thing. Ajamil recollected all his sins, great sins, and regretted greatly, real regret, and thought, wow, what a mischief I did. I was born in a Brahmin family and associated with the low-born low class prostitute and produced children from her sons. What cheek? How I did that? How it happened like that? Oh, greatly regretting and feeling misery, real misery, real misery. If one atones like this, if one regrets like this, means wants to become a real devotee. That is the symptom. Regretting for the mistakes. I drank, I ate meat. Wow, I ate cows. How come I was born? I remember this. 
I landed first time, I think, 1977, just before Turkey Day. They, they eat turkeys in this country in one day, I think. So one lady, my god sister, after some days passed, and I gave few lectures there in California. One lady, white devotee, my god sister, reached me. She said, why, what are you doing in the trash part of the world? She called it trash. We heard the great nation about America, great country, great people, great thing. I came here, I, you know, I'm a great part of the world. And she said, what are you doing here in the trash part of the world? Go back to your place. Said, Vrindavan is the holiest land, Lord Krishna's land, which is true. But I didn't think that way to the trash part of the world. See? When one really regrets, then real devotion arises from the heart. <laughs> After condemning himself in many, many ways, Ajamila understood that it was not dream he saw, it was real. Has a discussion between it, it took place, really it took place, he understood. Because he was handcuffed and he was being pulled by ferocious people and then by these demigods, beautiful looking demigods came for a four armed people and with their discussion, he was released. So he is now, now realizing it was not a dream. So when he meditated on the beautiful form of these demigods, four of them have come, he's thinking demigods, his heart became filled with devotion. Then he thought, I must have done some good deeds in my past life because I was a great sinner. I was born in a Brahmin family but ended up associating with a low-born prostitute. There may be high-born prostitutes too, I don't know, but low-born prostitute. The word low means must be high somewhere, so like that. So I was associated with a low-born lady and at the death I chanted the name of Narayana I must have done some good karma see even Rajamil a great sinner realizes that there is a past life why cannot be future life too so we must remember life after life and after life there is life like that <clears throat> How come I brought, my mouth brought out name of Narayana unless I did some good deeds? I must have done some good deeds. Now I should do such kind of endeavor, become purified thoroughly, so when I die, because he knew he's alive, now he will be dead somewhere, as sure as death we say in this country, so I will die so I don't go to hell. Let me become straight. Till now I had thought, I am this body. I identified myself with my body and worked in many ways to fulfill my desires. I wanted to enjoy. Anybody who wants to enjoy, he, is a, he or she is a sinner. Remember that. Anybody who is desiring to enjoy worldly life, that person is a sinner. So he said, uh, uh, um, Ajamil is saying that I wanted to enjoy. And just to fulfill that desire, I did many ways, many things. To take care of my family, I accumulated in many unjust ways. To take care of my family, supply things. Now I have come to my senses, I don't want to fall in the tie of Yamaraj. I don't want to 
I don't want to go to hell and face Yamaraj. I have realized that I must take to devotional life. Who will realize this? Only those who are meant for liberation will realize. Now I should become free, Amar, um, Ajamil is thinking. Now I should become free from illusion. The illusory potency of the Lord came to me as a woman and I became entangled in that. Thus I became very great sinner. I forgot all the Vedic laws. But now I must give up all the false ego of I, me, my mind and chant the holy name of the Lord. Sikh Sukhadev Goswami continues, Ajamil got only few moments association of Vishnu Dutas. Few moments. And realized that he has to become a devotee. And by the help of them, he became free from Maya and became a pure devotee. That's and he went to Haridwar on the bank of Ganges. Ganges is the holy place considered or stated in the scriptures for Kali Yuga. Satya Yuga's holy place is Puskara Khetra. Dwapar Yuga's, Treta Yuga's holy place is Kuru Khetra. Dwapar Yuga's holy place is Naimi Sharanya. And Kali Yuga's holy thing is Ganges. Although Ganges is coming from Satya Yuga, but there's Four places are decided for four yugas in that way, like that. So he went to Haridwar on the bank of Ganges and lived in a temple, ashram, ashrama. One should relinquish family life and come and live in ashram after age of 50. You should not stay in a family life, not correct. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shastri Koi, Lava Matri, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhi Hoi. Moments association, Ajamil realized such a great thing. How come? Now because Sadhu Sangha, one moment's association is sufficient to attain liberation. I mean, path of liberation becomes open. One practices devotional service, one must have good faith. Ajamil started chanting, and at the time of death, <clears throat> he controlled his uh, senses and mind, took bath in Ganges, and at the time of death, he saw the same messengers, four of them, who came to take him. He re recognized them, because he seen them already, and he paid his homage, obeisances to him, them, and the messengers told, we came here to take you. So, while chanting the holy name, he relinquished his body, sat in their vimana, celestial plane, and Vishnu Dudas took him back to Godhead. This is the result of chanting the holy name of the Lord in good faith. Don't worry that you don't have good faith right now, that's why you should not chant. No. While having weak faith, you carry on chanting even though your mind is not under control. Carry on chanting, time will come, you become habituated. Just like you wash cloth, dirty cloth, and immediately all dirt don't go away, slowly dirt goes like that. After associating with low-born prostitute, Ajamil had turned sinful, very greatly sinful. He was being taken by Yamadutas to hell. But one name of the Lord freed him. And we chant every day, 16 rounds a day minimum. 
how come we will not go? Guarantee! <laughs> we will go back to Godhead. If somebody wants to become free from going to hell, somebody wants to become free from all their sins, somebody wants to become free from repetition of cycle of birth and death, if somebody desires to achieve liberation, somebody wants to become purified enough to see God face to face, must chant the holy name of the Lord under the guidance of a perfect spiritual master. Sure, he will receive result. Sukhdev Goswami continues, O Parikhit, remember this, the outcome of the history narrated in regards to Ajamil, Ajamil is history, is that if by mistake one chants the holy name of the Lord, not knowing the philosophy behind, still gets benefit. Even if some repeat, somebody repeats the name of God, indicating to something else, his son or a daughter or some thing, gets benefited. Stops going to hell. Works going back to Godhead, like that. But must be chanted wholeheartedly, sincerely, with good faith. After death, goes back to Godhead, where the residents of the spiritual world welcome you. Please come, please come. Like that. If somebody like Ajamil, a sinner, can become free from going to hell by just, just chanting, one name indicating to his son. Imagine if you're chanting good faith and regularly and so many names, 16 rounds a day, you cannot think it will not go back to Godhead. Knowingly or unknowingly, you chant the holy name, you go back to Godhead, sure. taking shelter at the lotus feet of a pure spiritual master who is authorized by scriptures. You cannot go wrong for sure. You have to follow him. If you don't follow, even Lord Brahma becomes your guru. You cannot be liberated. You have to follow. Jo guru murak hoi na chet, jo guru mile virenchi sama. Those who are stupid, they accept bona fide, scripturally authentic spiritual master and don't follow as per what he says. Even if Lord Brahma comes and becomes their guru, they cannot be liberated. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.